Thank you. What in your view is the definition of luxury? How would you define luxury for yourself in terms of the cars? Uh, I think luxury is a overall experience. It's to do with the re reliability of the vehicle you're driving, uh, the performance makes a big difference. Uh, features add to the experience, so uh, uh, nice music system, uh, the comfort of the seat that you're sitting in. Um, the uh, so in totality, it is the entire experience that you experience when you're being driven in or driving a car yourself. And there seems to be a lot of Mercedes cars in your house, so Mercedes is it your favorite car brand? Uh, well, I think traditionally it's been a very uh, favorite uh, brand of my family. It started from uh, my grandfather's time down to my father, his brothers, everyone. I think uh, they've all had a wonderful experience with the car and that carries on to my generation. So I think they're doing a pretty good job with the new models that they are uh, bringing out with the additional features, improvements, technological advances. These days, obviously, technology becomes a big part of anything. So uh, the technology is good, but it's not to a, a, a level where the users just, you know, astounded as to what to do with what. So I think that's a very, very delicate balance that is important for any vehicle which is user driven or otherwise. Great, so maybe you could show us some of the features that you really like. Sure. Inside this E250 CDI, it's a diesel car. And you will just tell us what are the features that you like. It looks really cool, huh? Yeah. Good paneling. Yeah. All the, well, they have various options that you can do for the interior. So the color of the leather, the, the wood finish on the, uh, on the boards and things like that. The, well, Features that I find like really, really um, good and useful are the memory buttons. So you can save three memories of the seat, the steering wheel uh, uh, angle. Uh, so because you know in India generally where we're all driving, multiple people are using the cars. So whether it's the driver, me, or anyone else, it adjusts. So you have you what is comfortable. Seat settings and the steering wheel That's correct. angle settings. That's correct. The second thing I think is is <laughs> music. is the music, which basically connects automatically to your uh, phone through Bluetooth, and obviously everybody has all the music stored in their phone these days, so you play whatever you want to. Um, you also have the CD option, the radio and all the regular features over there. Uh, the other thing that I really like, which is a slightly more complicated situation, is the ambient lighting over here. So in this car, you have like about three, three options. So there's like a, a blue, a white and an amber. So that also look, it kind of changes the look of the car. Uh, one. And also as a self-driver, one thing that is really, really important is the uh, automatic parking. Because, you know, parking is every driver's uh, least favorite <laughs> thing to do. So this, the, the car does for you. This is just storage for your... Uh, drinks or ashtray or like the. Do you have GPS like in this? Uh, no. Yeah. Very nice looking watch. Yeah. It's a classic. Very classic. You must be enjoying your drive to work and back. So of do you take course. this only for work or for other No, no, I take it for work. I take it uh, when I go out in the evenings. Uh, I love driving the car. It's quite zippy also. It. Uh, drives very fast, 
not that I drive fast on Delhi <laughs> roads, but <laughs> if I want to on a highway, I can. Thanks very much, Gautam, for your time.